Welcome to episode 11. Let's see who we're going to be playing as today. We pretty much have a clean slate. Annabeth. <laughs> Wonderful. I feel like we've gotten her name more than anybody else's. But anyway, here for episode number 11. Let's see what Annabeth is going to be doing. Again, as always, if you want any of your ideas put over here, you can put them down in the comments below or over on our Discord. We have a special thread over there where you can put it. But let's see what Annabeth is going to be doing today. Please, no children. Go camping. Wonderful. Okay, so this might actually be good because we have one toddler and three infants in our house. And it is a bit chaotic. So it might be wonderful if we can just take Annabeth and run away. But that's not what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to live her regular day until tonight or until the afternoon. We'll have to see what her work schedule is. Oh, apparently we have a nanny who is here. Okay. Welcome, nanny, because we really need you. That we have Valerie and we have Fernanda who is in her crib and we have Holden who is over here on the floor. And then we have baby Roy who is about to go to sleep on this couch. Oh, he's so tired. Okay, so those are our kids. We don't really do anything with those kids until they are, unless we're playing one of their parents. But we don't really do anything with them if we're not playing a parent until they become teenagers and then they get added to our wheel. So, for right now, though, we have Annabeth, and let's see. It is 745. She has work in three hours, and she gets home from work at 6. So, I think we're going to take the day. We're going to um, take a vacation day, and then we will let her go upstairs or wherever her bed is. Let's see. That's definitely not her room. I think her room is over here. Yes. Okay, so Annabeth is going to come up here and get a little bit of sleep. And then we are going to buy some gear and go out, go out to a spot where we want to go camp. But I do want to get her charisma up to level two today. Look, somebody slipped in a coffin because that was one of the requirements. So we'll have her practicing. Oh my gosh, we're getting quirks for the babies. No, Crystal should not skip school, but I can't actually tell her to go to school when the sweet baby is just passing straight out from trying to deal with her triplets. Girl, I'm so sorry. Okay, that is probably enough sleep. Let's let her go in here and get some... Oh, gosh. Okay, Brian's gone. And the nanny is gone. Send alone. Oh, Brian has gone to work. I forgot. I was thinking Brian was still in high school, but it's just the two girls, and apparently neither one of them are there. Bria has not gone to school either. See, it's up here. It says go to school. Nope. She's like, nope. And I can't tell her. Little Crystal is missing school. If she misses too many grades, her days will suffer. I can't help it. I mean, her grades will suffer. Oh, I forgot that she's also having a midlife crisis. This is perfect. She wants to explore the outdoors. Wait, is a Kaya business meeting? What in this world? The boss calls an end-of-day meeting. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't even know who this is for. Jesse, pick a number one to two. Sneak off home. Jesse's like, I'm done. I'm going home. Okay, we're going to leave. She can get some more of these while we're gone. But she wants to collect some stuff. So, let's go get the mail, and then I think, I don't know where we're going to go. Maybe we'll go to the rental place. No, she wants to go camping, so it needs to be a place where we can actually buy and use camping equipment. So, let's do that. It's going to have to be here, right? Like, travel, take a vacation. Nope, just me. She's like, do you see all the people in this house? Of course, it's just me going. Okay, we need to go somewhere like Granite Falls, camping and cabins. Okay, that's what we need. And then we want this area over here, the campground. Yes, and she's just staying one day. That's it. That's all we need. Yay! Now, I will say this. If we had rolled like Crystal and it said go camping, I would make Crystal bring her children camping. Because they're her kids, so they're her responsibility. But because it's Annabeth, they're not her kids. 
They're not her responsibility. However, we do have to find camping gear or do we have to buy it? For some reason, I thought that there was a place here that you could get it, but probably at like the ranger station or something right here. Let's see. Buy supplies. There we go. Wait, why are you embarrassed from having visitors over when her house is filthy? Okay, good. Here we go. We are going to buy a, not a bed. If we get a tent, that's all we need. Cabin in a bag. Yes, girl. Oh my gosh. And then we need a cooler coconut oil. Wow. There's so many things you can get from here. Oh, let's get a little folding table. She's got a fire pit over there that she doesn't have to, so she won't need the rest. But let's get her a little chair. Okay, great. Girl, yes. Annabeth's midlife crisis has passed. She's going through a resolution phase and reflecting on who she is and where she is in life. Well, that stinks because I was really about to get her uh, exploring the outdoors and everything else that she wanted to do. But okay, she's afraid of the dark and she's afraid of death, but that's okay. Where is our home in this area? Okay, girl, come over here. Let's put your tent up. I didn't know she had all those dang frogs. Okay, get you a table. You got your little chair here. All right, we're going to try breeding a frog. We got a striped dirt frog, so no. I need you to stop being embarrassed. You're not even at your house. That's ridiculous. Girl, you, could, you have a whole tent you could sleep in if you needed to sleep, which you do not. Come over here and light this fire. We're camping. Let's camp. Oh, yeah, let's roast some marshmallows. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my gosh. She got the cooking skill out here camping. Oh, my gosh. She is too hot and she's burning to death. Girl, change your clothes. Change your clothes. Change your clothes. To hot weather, please. Remember, you have a lot of hot weather clothes. Let's go. Let's go. Annabeth, what is the matter with you? It's hot outside. Come on. There you go. Oh, my gosh. She's got bugs on her now. She's like, uh, ew. Get away from me. Hello, let's go. Wait, she's un too uncomfortable to do this? Oh my gosh. She's going to sleep all day and not tonight. Okay, wake up. Now she's happy. Great. Let's have her go on a hike. Oh, wait. She can use the bathroom. Wow, that was loud. Oh yeah, I forgot. She can actually collect bugs and stuff. Girl, come here. That'll be cute. Oh, she's adventurous. Yay. Now go to the bathroom. And then I think we can find you a hike over here. Let's see. Explore the woods. There we go. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Explore the woods? Well, let's go to the national park then. I didn't know it meant like come out here. I thought she went on like a little hike. Oh, and we brought our cooler with us on the hike. Okay, great. I wish we could find somebody to like talk to out here. There's nobody here but us though. Oh, wait. Is there anybody in here? Is there any food in here? Oh, she found some food herself right in this little cooler. Okay. She's having her some little... Whoa. Is this a person? Oh, wow. Look. Uh, what is wrong with him? Girl, let's come meet him. Wait, I want to catch these things. Collect those insects. And greet this guy looking like Bozo the Clown. Ah, nope, sir. <laughs> I used to be so scared of Bozo the Clown when I was a little kid. Oh, she does want to introduce herself to a bunch of people and get her... Oh, let's try to cheer him up. Oh, he does not like Janae Price. Oh, Izzy Fabulous is on vacation out here. Oh my gosh, you know who he is? He's the same... Cl he's the sad clown. That's why I said looking like Bozo. He is Bozo. Girl, no. Run away. Come over here. Come over here. The sad clown is on vacation with us. What is going on? Oh, gosh. And then she came over here to us. Okay. Let's just talk to her and try not to talk to that guy. She's about to discuss her fears of death with a complete stranger. Girl, yeah. Come out here and go fishing with them. Can you talk to him while you're fishing? Oh, she left. Oh, and so did he. Okay. It's actually really late and she's really tired, but she did catch a fish. Nice. 
Oh, girl, let's try to dig this real quick, and then we'll go back to our house. Oh, what are these things? Girl, what are these? What are those? Look at these things. I've never seen that in my life. You can't even collect them? I need some of these. Oh, yes, we can, girl. Come on, come on. This is more important than anything else you've done. I've never found these anywhere. Come on, grab one of them. Oh, what is it? A dust spirit. Is that what it said? Fire ant, dragonfly, dust spirit. Wow. Wow, Annabeth. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to this guy. Because we haven't met him yet, and then we'll go back, okay? We know him. His name's Eric Lewis, but... I mean, I know him, but you don't. Okay, great. Now let's go back to our home. Go to lodging. That's what we want to do. Eric, we can't talk anymore. We're very tired, and it's already 11 o'clock at night. Okay. There we are, right here at our tent. Wow, she's going to be fully rested by 4 o'clock in the morning. That's kind of amazing. Okay, get up and eat you some granola. And then we're going to pack all of her stuff up and walk down here to the showers. And then we're going to go home. We're going to call this a successful outing. She's got bugs all around her. But at least she likes it. I mean, she's scared of the dark, but she likes being here, it looks like. All right, we're all packed up. The only thing she needs is to take a shower. So we're going to walk over here. See if we can grab any insects on the way. Oh, that's the hike. We can click on it. Oh, assess impression. Okay, and then let's take a shower. She caught some fireflies. Oh, here's somebody for you to introduce yourself to. Wait, she is a military personnel. Okay, that's fine. And it is night on the town. We've only got an hour to get back home, an hour and a half. You can come catch this one more thing of insects. Girl, it does not take that long to take a dang shower. The insects are gone now because of you. Wait, there's some more. Come on. That is a long enough shower. Say hi to this lady and then go get some insects. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and end your vacation early. Travel. End vacation. And then we'll have an hour when we get home for you to get your charisma up. And then this was a very successful day where almost nothing happened. I'm sorry that there was no chaos or drama. It would have been better if we had had to go camping with another one of our characters who maybe had children or at least a child. But not this time. Just come in here and practice your speech. Hopefully, you'll have enough time. School starts in an hour. Laugh milestone. She got charisma level two. And it is 7.45. That means that we're done. And like I said, oh my gosh, this baby out here. Oh, you're so stinky. You look just like your mama. <laughs> That's our alien baby. We have one alien and three mermaids. Oh my gosh. Anyway, those little mermaids, as soon as they're big enough, they can sleep out here in the pool, I bet. We don't have to uh, have beds for all of them. Anyway, oh no, our thing got struck by lightning. Wow. Okay, we also got to notice that... Wait, let me look at birthdays over here. That's one of the things. The triplets are aging up tomorrow. So whoever we play tomorrow will have to handle... Or no, not tomorrow because that's really today. So it won't be until the next episode. So anyway, that is it and all that we have to worry with. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.